have some breaking news coming in with the storm. Yeah, the uh, latest 5 o'clock track showing it has now morphed into a hurricane. Yes, Category 1 has maximum sustained winds at 75 miles per hour, so it's the lower end of a Cat 1, but still showing signs of organization and strengthening, and that's what's expected to continue in the forecast. So. Let's get right to it. We're going to start to feel the breeze pick up but right now. It is calm, by the way, a calm start here locally. Now in the Keys, the winds have already been picking up and there is Idalia category one kind of see that convection blowing up and trying to fill in on the western side where it's been dealing with wind shear. And speaking of that shear, the upper level winds are going to start to decrease because over the eastern Gulf waters, that's where the lower upper level winds lie. So as her Hurricane Idalia moves northward over the eastern Gulf waters. It has that opportunity to continue to strengthen to eventually a cat two later on this afternoon. And then by late tonight, if not tomorrow, a category three. Now it looks like Idalia's timing is still about the same. Might have slowed down a little bit when it comes to that landfall tomorrow. It should be late in the morning over parts of the nature coast, maybe near Cedar Key as a major category three hurricane. And then moving into Georgia as a cat one hurricane, eventually downgrading into a tropical storm, impacting the Carolinas and exiting into the Atlantic by Thursday. So as we go into later on today, we're going to start to see those rain bands come into our area here locally, but it's happening a little earlier, of course, for the keys uh, with the lower keys still under that tropical storm watch, including Collier County. Now tropical storm warning extends from coastal Collier County all the way up to the Space Coast and into Northeast Florida. But our areas like Okeechobee, Treasure Coast, South Florida, or at least southeastern Florida, not included under any watches or warnings. In the hot pink you see there, those are all hurricane warnings. Tampa Bay up through Perry, Lake City, Cross City included in that warning. So conditions will start to deteriorate throughout today, especially by tonight. But the worst of the weather for northwest Florida will actually be overnight tonight into tomorrow. We're starting off at typical upper 70s, low 80s. By the way, we're under a heat advisory today.